Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships YouTube channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and I'm here to wish you a happy Friday. It's the best day of the week, not only because your weekend starts now, but also it is the day that we announce our next giveaway. That's right, to celebrate Midship's upcoming cruise on the MSC Divina, September 30th. We are doing a weekly giveaway of cruise swag, and one lucky person will win the three cruise swag items that we're about to reveal to you for this week's giveaway. Now, if you're only here for cruise news, I would invite you to skip ahead about two minutes while I reveal the contest information. But if you'd like to stick around, I'm going to go ahead and show you our first prize now. And the first prize is this wonderful tan leather passport holder that also includes space to store your COVID vaccine card. This is totally great for keeping your passport safe and your COVID card from being bent while you travel. Also, the other prizes this week are going to be these magnetic hooks for your cruise ship cabin. A lot of people don't know that cruise ship cabins are usually made of metal and all the walls are magnetic. So these are totally awesome to hang up things like wet bathing suits, Bluetooth speakers, decorations, or whatever else you have that might work out on a hook. The last item in today's giveaway is for that person that gets seasick. These are gonna be seasickness travel wristbands. These are gonna help fight nausea on board the cruise ship and they won't make you drowsy like your traditional Dramamine would. So these are totally awesome. You just put one on both wrists right here with this little uh, pressure point device, pushing it on your pressure points and it will help to relieve some of the nausea that you might feel on board a cruise ship. There are some rules to this contest and we're gonna cover those right now. First and foremost, this is not sponsored by YouTube. It is sponsored by yours truly, Midships Captain Corey. I'm doing this because I absolutely love my subscribers and I wanna to continue to build the totally awesome cruising community that you and I have put together over the last couple of months. So to enter this contest, you have to be at least 18 years old and live within the United States. The contest will end on September 1st at noon Eastern and to enter to win, you must be a subscriber of the channel. So all you have to do to be considered for these prizes is comment below this video what your favorite drink is on a cruise ship. It could be an adult beverage or it could be the water. I don't care. All comments about beverages will qualify to win. Now, when I do the drawing, if the person who is chosen to win by the random comment picker that I'm going to use, if that person is chosen and they have not written down their beverage of choice, they will be skipped and another person will be chosen who has followed the instructions. When I select the contest winner at noon on September 1st, I will reply to your comment down below and you will have two days to pull up the Midships Facebook group and go ahead and send me your contact information. I wish you all the best of luck in this week's contest. Thank you so much for being the best subscribers on YouTube. If you just can't wait to get your hands on any of the products from our giveaways that we do on the channel, there are Amazon affiliate links in the description below all my videos. You can just click the link and it will take you directly to Amazon. Now let's get into the cruise news. After 17 months, Cabo San Lucas is back to cruising. We're gonna tell you which ship is the first one to pull back into port. Also, there was a lot of positive feedback on my video the other day about people sailing back-to-back -back cruises with Carnival Cruise Line. So I thought I would also bring you a little bit of information from Royal Caribbean on their current back-to-back -back policy. Also, we're gonna talk about what to expect on your next cruise and if you'd like to sail around the world and you've made great financial decisions, we're gonna tell you exactly how you can do that. So let's talk about Cabo San Lucas. In an article from Cruise Hives, Robert McGilvery, after 17 months, Carnival Cruise Line is the first to return to Cabo San Lucas. Cabo San Lucas is back to cruising as the Carnival Panorama becomes the first ship to arrive to the port after 17 months. The Carnival ship is also the first to sail from Long Beach to the Mexican Riviera and has already made her successful return to Puerto Vallarta. The arrival of Carnival Panorama to Cabo San Lucas means excellent news for Carnival Cruise Line, which now has eight vessels in operation. It is also fantastic news for the thousands of locals who depend on the cruise ships for their income. Carnival Cruise Line expects to bring over 50,000 passengers to Cabo San Lucas in the last four months of 2021 alone. That is totally awesome. I did not even expect to see that big of a number. That is totally cool. It is amazing what cruising does for these local economies and for all the jobs and the businesses in these cruise ports. It's so good that we're finally getting back to cruising, baby. And actually, 
officially at the end of the month, we should be nearly 50% back of all the cruise ships worldwide. I think we reported on that about a week ago. So that's so exciting for all of these individuals whose livelihood is based on the cruise industry. That is such good news. So that is the carnival news for today. Now we're going to talk about the other large cruise line out of the United States, which of course is Royal Caribbean. And we are going to go ahead and take a look at their back to back cruising protocols, or at least the best answer I could find for you, the midships viewers. So the question in the Royal Caribbean health and safety FAQs is, can I book back-to-back -back cruises at this time? And the answer is yes, we can accommodate vaccinated guests on as many consecutive or back-to-back -back cruises as they wish. Guests who sail on back-to-back -back cruises must show proof of full vaccination against COVID-19 and are required to take a COVID test, producing a negative result between each sailing. This test will be administered by Royal Caribbean at no expense to the guest, as long as your consecutive cruises are less than three days apart. Visit guest services while on board to arrange this test ahead of your next cruise. So similar to what Carnival has recently announced for back-to-back -back and side-to-side -side cruisers, Royal Caribbean is going to provide the test free of charge for you if you're cruising back-to-back -back or side-to-side -side within three days of each other. Now, like the article said, when you get on board, the very first thing you need to do, get in contact with guest services and schedule your test for your next cruise. Again, you are your own advocate on these cruise lines. They are not always necessarily going to be looking out for you on this type of situation. Yes, they have your health and safety at the forefront of mind, but this type of thing is the thing that could slip through the cracks amongst thousands of people on board the ship. So definitely protect your investment in your awesome vacation and get this scheduled the first day you're on board. Well, we all know cruising in 2021 can definitely be a little bit of a weird experience. And so we're gonna read an article from US News and World Reports. And this is actually published on msn.com by Nicola Wood. It's entitled, What to Expect on Your Next Cruise Vacation. It's kind of long, so we are going to actually just skim through this. And this article, along with everything that we reference in all of our episodes, will be linked below. If the thought of a cruise vacation calls to mind self-serve buffets, packed performances, and crowded megaships, it might be time to adjust your expectations. After a lengthy hiatus following the start of the pandemic in March of 2020, select cruise ships have slowly started welcoming passengers back on board earlier this summer, but with many key differences. Following guidance from the US CDC, industry leaders have made tweaks to all areas of the cruising experience, from onboard dining, safety protocols, and shore excursions. If you're ready to hop back on board your favorite line, read on and learn what you should or should not do and expect on your next vacation. Also, before booking your getaway, be sure to check with guidance from the CDC and local tourism boards. So if you would like to go ahead and check the local CDC guidance, it's actually linked below. There is that nice color-coded chart for cruise ships that tell you exactly what their CDC status is and what their COVID numbers have been recently on board the ship. Also, it's always smart before you travel out of the country to check with the CDC's website to see if there are any warnings for the area which you're about to travel. Like the Bahamas is currently a very high warning and you're actually advised not to travel there if you don't have to. So it's interesting, but I think within these cruise bubbles, the Bahamas should be fairly safe for cruisers, at least, to travel to. There are now vaccination and face mask requirements. Although vaccination policies may vary from line to line, most cruises recommend or require all passengers who are over 12 years old to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 at least 14 days prior to setting sail. Per CDC guidelines, ships are permitted to embark on their voyages if at least 95% of the guests have received either one dose of Johnson & Johnson or two doses of Pfizer or Moderna. So the one caveat that could exempt you from vaccination on most cruises and especially cruises to the Bahamas right now is going to be if you are a child under 12, you don't have to be vaccinated, or if you have a medical exemption in writing from your doctor that you can present to the cruise line. So we're gonna skip forward in the article a little bit and talk about the health screening process on board cruise ships. Health screening and enhanced cleaning policies to keep passengers and crew members safe 
cruise lines have partnered with experts around the globe to implement health precautions and new cleaning policies aboard ships. Before hopping on board, travelers will be required to produce a negative PCR or rapid antigen COVID tests, regardless of your vaccination status. This can vary from line to line. You need to check with your cruise line on what their embarkation policy and testing policy is. Now, most cruise lines are not accepting the take-home tests. However, some cruise lines make an exemption for people who do take-home tests while on a Zoom call with a telemedicine health provider. So don't just assume your cruise line takes that test. While on board, you will see reduced capacities on your ship. Most capacities are cruising around 40 to 75%. You'll also see a lot of changes to the dining experience while on board. While the cruise industry's much loved all-you-can-eat buffets have not disappeared, the self-service aspect of the buffets has. And for the most part, you're going to be served the food now from behind the buffet line. But dining changes don't just end at the buffet. In some sit-down restaurants, guests may find new technologies to limit contact between patrons and servers. A lot of restaurants are eliminating physical menus entirely in place of a QR code that you'll scan on your cell phone to view the menu. For most of these cruises that you're gonna set out in 2021, you need to have your Cruise Lines app downloaded before you get to the port and you need to be signed in to the ship's Wi-Fi when you get on board, open up the app and it will open up a world of possibilities on board the ship. So make sure you've got that Royal or that Carnival or that MSC or that NCL app pre-downloaded before you hit the port. Let's talk about shore excursion changes. Before booking your trip, be sure to research the COVID policies in the individual ports you're visiting. Some cruise lines have adjusted their itineraries to only include low-risk ports, but cruisers may still need to adhere to strict mask mandates or show their vaccine card to get on or off the boat or dine outdoors while on port. The cruise lines are gonna do a pretty good job in general of keeping you updated on the local policies as far as masking is concerned for all the ports that you visit, but definitely go ahead and keep an extra mask in your back pocket in case that one you're wearing just happens to snap a band. You don't wanna run into any problems while you're off the ship. So maybe you've made some really good financial choices in your life and you have an extra $50,000 laying around to take a cruise around the world. How amazing and romantic does that type of vacation sound. Honestly, that would be a once in a lifetime experience that you would never ever forget. And you can now do that if you have the extra 50 grand to give to Viking Cruise Lines. They've announced their new world cruises coming up for 2023 and 2024. Of course, the current world cruises for this year have all been canceled. So now, unfortunately, you have to wait a little bit longer for these round the world cruises. But let's get into this article written by TravelPulse.com. Viking announced its new world cruise, which will span 138 days, 28 countries, and 57 ports, with overnight stays in 11 cities. After the 2021 and 2022 world cruises sold out in record timing, I believe it was in under a day or two, Viking will now offer a choice of two dates, cruising from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, including Viking Sky departing December 20th, 2023, and Viking Neptune departing December 23rd, 2023. So they're gonna probably be following each other. And how awesome is that? You get to spend Christmas and New Year's and Valentine's Day out on the sea. That is gonna be definitely a once in the lifetime experience. Passengers on both ships departing Florida will journey to Central America before transiting the Panama Canal and sailing up the west coast of North America. Guests booking the shorter 121 day Viking world journeys will join the adventure in Los Angeles. From LA, both ships will cross the Pacific Ocean to ports of call in Hawaii, Australia, and New Zealand before exploring ports of call in Asia and the Middle East. The voyage will continue through the Mediterranean and conclude in London. Well, I kind of buried the lead on the pricing for this cruise, but let's go ahead and look at some of the specifics because we all like to see these giant numbers that most of us would not want to pay for a cruise, but it's very interesting and it's not something you see every day. So let's look at some of this costs. Prices start at $55,000 per person with up to a $50,000 per couple in Viking value, including business class international airfare, transfers to and from the ship, all shipboard gratuities and service fees, complimentary visa services, the Silver Spirits beverage package and free luggage shipping services. So, oh my gosh, this sounds like a once in a lifetime cruise that is sure to sell out 
in the blink of an eye. I know all the regular cruises are just getting booked and booked and booked. And we've seen a lot of cruise lines say that demand is way up. So it would be no surprise to me if this sells out within the first couple hours of going on sale. So good luck to anybody going on that world cruise with Viking Voyages. That's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Midships channel and comment below your favorite drink to be entered to win our giveaway. Until next time, we'll see you on the Midships. Thank you.